Hello everybody, it is Ghost Robo. We're here on the character select screen. It's all sorts of silent, so we won't stay here for long. This is my hunter, fully leveled up to 8. I played a warlock in the alpha. A lot of you asked about a titan. What does that mean? What is that like? You're an armored engine of war. Control any battle with strength and strategy. He has a smash, the ground move, a later defender shield. So we're going to make one of these guys real quick. I think we're going to go with a male exo, just for something totally different. They've got very interesting design here. You can kind of create almost these robotic monsters that I think are pretty darn cool. That one I like a lot. I like that one. But I think I'm going to go with this one. You can change their skin color if you can even call it skin. You've got all these different patterns, which is pretty crazy. You can kind of make them uh, almost like, I don't know, weird amphibious robot creatures. Kind of look at that eye color. Do they always have that orange? Can I pick two or something? Weird. Green. Then you get green with orange, I guess. Uh, this is sort of strange. Head head feature. Oh, head feature color. Okay. Then go with a horn. You can go with spikes. This is really cool. I like these guys. Well, this one of the strongest points of Destiny, I think, is the character creator. Not because there's so many options, but because each option is really good. I think that's really crucial. Um, weird ear things. <laughs> I kind of like those horns, but I kind of also, I don't really like that. That's creepy. I kind of like these just because it makes me look like a Frankenstein creature. All right. And light blue is good. Is mar oh, is marking. I see. This is the thing we want to change up here. 37 dots. Weird line. Paint splatter on the eye. Something big nose. What about the big U? Oh, that's cool. But I kind of also like just the eye splatter. Like a purple eye splatter. What about even like a... Yeah, that looks kind of sweet. Like he's got this big eye scar. Okay. And like he's done because he doesn't have hair or anything. He's a crazy robot. So we're going to jump in with him. And I'm actually going to zoom forward till we're leveled up a little bit. So you can see his special and what he does on the battlefield. We are actually going to start right here on Old Russia. Running through the birds. Entering the buildings for the first time. Car hop. And what was interesting here is that going through some of these missions like a second, a third, this would be my fourth time, uh, you just kind of can sprint through and you can make your way real quickly. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to even worry about fall. Captain find Dinklage us. here guiding us along. The main thing I wanted to see was, okay, what is the Titan's melee? And then does he get like some different guns? And then eventually, obviously, what is his super and how does that differ? Now the beta... <laughs> The beta, I, I was racing against time here, so I was really trying to sprint my way through because the beta ended at about 9.30 p.m. And as of this recording, it was about 9, 9.20 something. I was really cutting it close. I wanted to go explore and find the Moon Ogre. I wanted to explore and get through the Shrieker um, in Old Russia. So that was my priority. Uh, and then I was like, okay, with whatever time I have left, I'm going to try to build up a, a hunter as far as I could. And I was hoping, like, maybe the beta, uh, maybe it will extend beyond 930 a little bit. We could get a little bit lucky. We'll grab a rifle here. And what's interesting is that if you play this with confidence, you, know you can kind of aggressively go through these opening areas. Like, you know, when you first start a game, this is interesting, this is probably true of most games, but when you first start a game, you know, you're getting used to the controls, you're so nervous, you're, you're, you're just getting acclimated to the enemies, the environments, the way that it plays, but after playing hours and hours of Destiny, like going back, I kind of just did this with like, you know, no... No stopping. It was just sort of like Rambo-style Destiny, and I was just like hell-bent on getting as far as I could. So we were just like firing like crazy. I was not worried about health. I was just punching guys. So the melee is different per class, which is something I think is pretty interesting. And it does factor into what you can, you know, how, how it, it, it works a little There's bit, I think. Ahead. The Warlock kind up. of pushes them away with more of an energy blast. The Hunter goes into the knife kill, and the Titan Let's see what's inside. Uh, just does a, a typical fist punch. Now, I don't know if there's different timers on those. Trip mines. I, I'm not no, aware. Maybe them. one of you knows if, if this has been dissected, but if in terms of melee recharge, if different classes have different timers, because that would be something important to note, like if you wanted to use melee often, because as far as I can tell, the melee is pretty darn potent no matter who you are. Um, and this shotgun that we start off with is nice. If you remember, we did not start off with the shotgun uh, as, as the hunter. So getting to do a little up close and personal Cowboy Curtis dirty work here. <laughs> a, a knife, a punch, whatever. They both seem to be uh, equally effective. But the animation is definitely different. So again, I don't know if that factors into a change in 
how it affects your play. I, I wanted to go back and forth and kind of test that out, but I ran out of ran out of beta time. This initial encounter, when you play through it for the first time, you're like, oh crap, I'm getting sworn. But again, it's just it's weird to go back and play this opener with the knowledge of how it controls and, and knowing like sort of my health limits. And even though I'm level one with no, you know, projectile whatsoever, you can kind of just cruise your way through. But that's okay because we are trying to really rush. Uh, in the final moments of this beta here. This was my end, uh, the last breaths of the beta that we're witnessing here. And I was really paying attention to the clock. I was like, oh my god. I wasn't even commentating at this point because I didn't want to like slow anything down. I just wanted to sprint as quickly as I could. So we basically, you know, there's a couple more encounters, but this just mission is just about over. We're approaching the end of it, so we're going to cut here. Um, and I beat the mission, I went back to orbit, and we got this error saying could not connect to the Destiny servers. And I was like, oh god, is it over? Are we done? We're level two, we're a third of the way to three, please don't end just yet. So I went back to set the destination, um, and I clearly needed to go to the tower, but I wanted to just go back down. Um, it, it would not let me even click on the tower, because the servers were you know, being taken offline. So I wanted to just go back down to Earth and try to get some XP, but it was not working. So I was like, okay, let's go to the Crucible. That might be uh, maybe a, a good idea, but uh, if Earth works, I want to do Earth. So can we get into Earth, please? I'm clicking on Nothing's happening. Clicking, nothing's happening. Yes, no, maybe. Can, can will anything work? I don't know. We'll just set our destination again. Try this one final time. The tower is where I should, I think, go, but it's not letting me, so we're going back to Old Russia. Okay, everything seems kosher, good, going to Old Russia. Our ship takes off, maybe the servers are still, there's still a little connection I can just sip off of like a straw. I'm just sucking the last tiny morsels of the connection. And then lo and behold, even though it said we were going to Old Russia, uh, on this crazy last minutes of the beta journey, it takes us to the tower, which totally surprised me because we... It wouldn't let me even click on the tower, and then finally it, it let me do something, which was go to Old Russia, but this is clearly not Old Russia. So you get to see our guy, which is cool, though. Our Titan. Um, he's an Exo, and I, I'm i definitely... Welcome to the last hmm, safe city on Earth. Trying to decide who I'm going to be in the, in the full game. I really like... I really like all the races. I think I'll probably... I don't know. I'll leave it a surprise. I, I'm leaning one way or another, but I guess you'll have to wait until the uh, the final launch to see who I'm going to be. I, their character creator has impressed me quite a bit. I like it more than possibly any character creator I've played in the last uh, while. So we're here on on Towerland, Tower Plaza, the last city of Earth, and I thought we'd just run around, see him. Look how cool he looks. It, it almost looks like he's now now traveler. Be good. I'm going to sit here and watch you. Please don't leave. But it almost looks like he's from a different. A different game or something. The fact that he's so robotic looking, it's kind of awesome. Um, and I hope, combined with armor, this will allow for a lot of variety with your friends, especially if you get more of the legendary gear or stuff like from raids, you can really distinguish yourself. And then when you're at these communal areas, as we dance partied up together, me and this other Titan, um, <laughs> if we can, uh, you know, really, really set ourselves apart and develop some unique look for our character. That's something I really hope for. And I was watching a video about Destiny's Endgame with Luke Smith, one of the uh, lead designers, and he was talking about the raids and the gear you're going to get, and, and that really made me pretty excited. Um, a lot of you asked for, where's your full beta review? That's the next video, right after this. I have no more beta footage after this uh, because it's over, yeah, but I do have that review that I, I want to uh, to make, and I, I know what I'm going to talk about, so that will be coming ASAP. Um, there is the Titan Vanguard. We can talk to you. You can see our armor just get a little peek. He kind of looks like he's a hazmat fire fighting spaceman, almost out of Prometheus or something like that. Uh, but his green head stands apart out of everyone else. Um, and we got to just quickly, um, again, I'm just like watching the clock counting the seconds down. When is it going to pop me out of this thing? Hoping we can get to level three so that we can check out that new ability, which his ability is basically a, a ground pound striker smash. Um, he smashes the ground. Um, in a fit of rage and aggression. What do we want here? Does it really even matter? Probably not. Give me the pulse rifle. I haven't had a pulse rifle with any of my other builds uh, as a primary, so why the heck not? We'll equip that real fast here. Get that pulse rifle action on. Zoom, zoom. Um, I gotta run over to the ship, right? You guys remember this. I kind of know this like the back of my hand now. Uh, this beginning tower run of where you have to go, who you have to talk to. But there's a lot of a lot of promise about Destiny, and one thing I've tried to make very certain is like I love the way it plays. So whatever they can do to make this game last, I'm so excited for it because I I love the moment-to-moment -moment action. This is a game I want to play with my brothers, my friends, myself. 
Um, and I'm, I was really optimistic, and then I was really pessimistic, and now I'm back on the upswing, which is a good thing. And they've got about a month left uh, before the game releases, and I hope that we just continue on an upward swing and learn more and more things about the game. And sure, the destinations are kind of a letdown. There's only you know one destination per planet in the initial game, but there's quite a bit of interesting. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like, extra work going on. And as you can see there, part of that work involves taking the beta offline. And so they pulled me out uh, of what I was doing. I'm like, I want to go to the last, the next story, the last mission. Please launch me here. Please launch me here. And it wouldn't work. So we ended up just getting into some, uh, some Crucible multiplayer. And we're on Venus. And I can gain XP here, right? So I'm like, all right, I just got to get to level three. This is a beautiful land. Grant me... A beautiful few seconds to gain uh, something and I'm really Control. you know I'm, I'm a low-level character right so I've got a, a basic shotgun and I've got a basic pulse rifle I don't even have my special I do have my grenade thank goodness uh, but as you can see I'm about two-thirds the way to three right now if you look at that faint green bar I'm just praying that I can get to level three before this beta ends so, gaining some points. All I gotta do really is finish one round. It almost doesn't even matter how well I do. I, I'm hopeful if I finish a round, get a couple kills, do a couple good things. I don't even have my, my double jump, which is pathetic. I can't even climb that hill. Uh, but I'm hoping that we can just do enough. Toss out some errant grenades, grab a few damage points. I'm trying to be cautious here, just because I'm not very familiar with pulse rifle usage. These people are all still in, though. I'm a okay. Everything's checking out. The beta is still running. Where are these goon squads? I need some points. Pronto! <laughs> what do you guys think at this point? Do you think the beta will end before I get to level 3? Or do you think I will get to level 3? That is the question of the day. More XP? We'll take it. We'll take it. We are crunching our way sluggishly, but surely... Oh, God. Missed the shotgun. I'm not used to the shotgun. I want to get used to it, though, because it's really powerful. I actually had one really good round with my hunter in the Crucible, where I was just dominating with the shotgun, so um, I, it would do me good to practice more of it. And I definitely, a lot of people have asked, like, are you going to be doing stuff with fans? And my goal is definitely to do stuff with fans. I know that for, like, the raids, you get a team, a bigger group of guys, and strike missions are, you know, a smaller group, but I'm, I'm hopeful that we can establish some sort of clan or group um, in order to effectively allow you guys and me to work together and, uh, and form up, and, and that would be a lot of fun, because I... I do want to play this game for a long time. It's something that I've been looking forward to all year. And again, in terms of a... Whoa! What? Hold up. I was about to be level 3. No! The Destiny servers are offline. Kicking me all the way back out to the start screen. And that is going to do it for the beta and for our footage. We did not reach level 3 with the Titan. I was so disappointed. I'm so sorry. I wasn't able to make it there in time for you guys. But the servers were pulled offline and the Destiny beta came to a close. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys will stay tuned for my review, which is the next video coming up. Uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit of footage with the Titan. I didn't have a lot of it, um, but I wanted to bring it your way uh, because I, I did the best I could. And... I got jacked out of the Matrix right at the pivotal moment where we were about to unlock the Super. But, everybody, that's all right. The game is coming out, like I said, in about four weeks. So we are moments away from playing as much this game as we freaking want. Can't wait for that moment. Hope you guys are excited as well. If you are, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking. Drink some hot shots. Stay tuned for that review video. Until next time, we'll see you all later.